Hey everyone, welcome back to First Time. I just thought I would do a video about Doja Cat. We all love our Doja Cat. I thought today I'd look at the latest incarnation of Doja Cat. Um, I feel like in previous videos I've compared where she's at now to where she was at before she became super famous. When I look back and I think about it, she has more returned to where she was compared to where she went with Planet Her. But it's really unfair to kind of devoid that of a an evolution and just refer to it as like a return. I really wanted to make this video about the current era Doja Cat, short hair Doja Cat, and do a video which is attention versus Paint Town Red versus Demons. So buckle in, let's do this. <laughs> Now, I haven't given much attention to either of her videos which aren't Paint the Town Red, and it's more a matter of timing. Attention, Doja Cat was... well, we'd seen images of her new look, but she was setting the theme, dealing with her new reality, is that she popped, and she has this new situation to deal with, and like most super famous people, they tore a line of, you know, keeping silent, trying to be the bigger person, not responding to the trolls, having the points of view that are the most common, and she said, it's not that I'm against that, but I don't want to be that. And she's spinning out the venom of the shit and the responsibility that people might place on her that she has to be a certain way because she has your respect or your love as a fan or an artist, that she owes you something. Yeah, that you own her. It's, there's a French word for it called internauts. Um, I think in English it's just people on the internet, but it's that internet community that is saying, we have made you our queen, or one of our queens, therefore you have to toe the line. And from an artistic perspective, that just quashes your freedoms. She doesn't need that, she's not about that. So I feel like attention was about that. And the interesting evolution is that she's taken us on a journey. She's really kind of, in my perception, she's planned it. I'm going to set the tone, provide the theme, make it relatable. I'm going to look like a human being. I'm going to kind of show a snippet or a version of my reality as a famous person, but I'm going to still be walking down the street like anybody else, as myself though, as a fucking kick-ass individual who's talented and successful and doesn't give a shit and doesn't need to be kept away in a chauffeur-driven taxi, can walk on the fucking street because I own this shit. That's what I think attention was about. Then I feel like Paint the Town Red is just like saying this is going to be some pretty funky shit. What you heard in Attention wasn't a mistake. That kind of... Because Attention has, has kind of an exotic sound to it. There's some kind of Eastern feel to it. Paint the Town Red is like, I'm going to like just notch up that quirkiness. And I'm going to give you some real quirky thing. We're going to the Wizard of Oz, to Munchkin Land, that world. Just like I have taken mushrooms and I'm going to tell you this... I'm going to say the same shit, but with mushrooms. Pink the Town Red is really, really cute. It's totally cute Doja. She's got her little mini skirt on with her t-shirt and her fucking dreadlocked wigs kind of look and feel with her like a bee-eyed glasses of a fly. It's like wacky, it doesn't really look good, but I'm going to fucking make this rock because I'm fucking Doja Cat. And, but then that obviously that video transitions where we've got her as a demon where she's pushing us into the next part of her journey and she looks beautiful and amazing and it's epic it's iconic instantly wow dojo and you're like serving us more and it's tasty so that was paint the town red and then we got a trailer and it was a, a big proper production like an american film and it's very exciting how musical artists today are really going in on their video productions. Video productions are becoming more and more significant and more and more important to music. In fact, it's making music more of a multimedia experience. I think of Money Come by Iggy Azalea. That video is part of that song. I don't in, I don't listen to Money Come by Iggy Azalea without thinking about the video. And here we are listening to Demons by Doja Cat and it's extremely promising. Demons delivered. Demons shocked. Demons surprised. Doja Cat has surprised and shocked three times in a row, but actually, when I think about it, there is a coherence. She has 
she's drawn us along. She hasn't just gone straight into demons, because if you think about it, if Doja Cat released demons as her first song, you'd be thinking, what the fuck, that girl is crazy, we don't understand. Because she started with attention, she went to Paint the Town Red, then she can give us demons, and it's coherent, and makes sense, and we're on that journey with her. And that, my friends, is complete genius. When I think of Doja Cat, but she's gone to super famous, I just feel like she's got a really good therapist that's really helping her healthily transition into her new reality. And from a psychological way, everything she's doing is completely healthy. She is owning herself and distancing herself and keeping it real. I think she's got wicked artistic direction herself, but I feel like she keeps good company and she's got fantastic direction about how to deal with fame and how to express that as a ther um, as an artist. And I feel like what we're getting from her is her current, it's like almost a therapeutic process as an artist of dealing with life from not sucking like the nipples of fame, which is so like an old mutton nipple. And who wants to fucking suck on that now? What Doja Cat is doing is, <laughs> what Doja Cat is doing is completely healthy and sane. She is paving a new way. I, I can't say it any more, any less, but she, she's amazing, but the timing has come as well in society for a societal change and Doja Cat is shaking it all up. She's a trendsetter, but she also represents a shift in how we deal with celebrity culture. It's being broken down to a much more simple everyday thing. The people on the pedestals, because oh. that's finished, that's done. And you know, celebrity culture is every day and that's where it's at now. Yes, we can bring her like more fame than the famous ones, but she's not, she's the bravest enough to say, I'm not going to be owned. I'm going to be me. And I like what's happening. I'm really liking what's happening. And that's all I have to say. I thought it was cool. And um, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. And um, yeah, I guess like it here. If you like that, subscribe, follow, like, blah. See you in the next video. Bye.